Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star series, live here on Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. Today is the D-Day. Ghana versus Cape Verde in the group stages of the AFCON. Yesterday, AFCON started. The opening ceremony was a spectacle. And Ivory Coast beat Guinea-Bissau to take all full three points in the opening game of the AFCON. In today's video, you are going to look at the latest updates concerning the Black Stars and also their preparation towards their first game in the group stages of the AFCON. And you can see they are getting their nice haircuts. Nice haircut for the game, at least. With this haircut, it should come with good performances. That is all we want from the Black Stars. Also, coupled with this, I have latest transfer updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. We are going to talk about it live here on Sports Corner GH. We are going to discuss about Abdo Fatah and Shahaku. Why Ghanaians are talking about Fatah and Shahaku. We are going to talk about this and many more live here on Sports Corner GH. So, guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed to it, thank you very much. And may God richly bless you. On the Black Star series, we give shout out. So, guys, if your name is on the shout out on this, I want to tell you a very big thank you and please continue to support sports corner gh but if your name is not here don't worry comment under this video and i'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout out list we do live here on sports corner gh so guys quickly let's jump into it and i'm going to begin with the black stars yesterday they held their fourth training session and everyone is in camp training intensively for the game they're going to play against kvet today now the game against kvet is 8 p.m 8 p.m so please take note of that game now Mohamed Kudus will be assessed to see whether he can play the game against Kivet or not. Let's not forget, West Ham uh, accompanied Mohamed Kudus with a physio. So definitely, he will work with the other doctors in the Black starting camp to make sure that Mohamed Kudus is fit enough to be able to play the game or not. That is the most important update we have for you concerning the Black Stars. But we just pray that at least whatever they learn on the training pitch re reflects on the game they're going to play against Cape Verde. We want to see wins. We want to see good performances from the Black Stars. This one that they are getting good haircuts. Haircut that they will spray fire in things. We want to see good performances from them too. That is very, very important. That is what we want to see from our Black Stars. It's very, very important. Now, Moving away from that, let's talk about Mohamed Kudus a bit. Now, Mohamed Kudus was named SWAG Sports Personality of the Year. He received that award. Mohamed Kudus was you know, awarded SWAG Sports Personality of the Year. And that goes to Mohamed Kudus. I mean, congratulations to him. He's doing well. And not only that, no. Mohamed Kudus had an interview with Goal. And he was asked small, small questions. Now, some of the questions, you can see it on your screen. But I can't play the audio. But you can see the transcription on your screen. Ned. They asked him whether Messi or Ronaldo, he chose Messi. They asked him whether AFCON or uh, the UEFA Champions League, he chose AFCON. And I understand why Mohamed Kudus will choose certain players over others and also will choose AFCON over the Champions League. Because in Ghana here, even in Africa, when you have the AFCON title, Charlie, it is bigger than anything else. We, 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 we raise you high. Look at the likes of Asamuajan, Sule Muntari, Mykinesian. Even though they didn't win a trophy for the, for, for, for the Black Stars, we still hold them in high esteem. And that is very, very important. So I'm moving away from that. Let's talk about Abdul Fatah Ishahaku. Yesterday, Leicester City played against Coventry in the championship. And Abdul Fatah Ishahaku played in that game. But he received a red card. Now, after he received a red card, Ghanaians have started talking. Now, Ghanaians are saying that Abdul Fatah Ishahaku opted out of the Blasters only to play for Leicester City because there is a threshold of matches he's supposed to play to be able to be signed permanently from Sporting CP. Now, this red card will see him miss three games for Leicester City. And this means that the only time Abdul Fatah Ishahaku would resume playing for Leicester City would be 10th of February. 10th of February. Now, AFCON would be ending. The final game of the AFCON would be ending on the 11th of February. And Daniels are saying that, ah! Amnu Fatah Ishahaku's house people are worrying. His house people are worrying. This man wanted to opt out of the blaster just to focus on his Leicester City career, only for this to happen. That means that he is not going to play any football game for Leicester City until 10th. By that time, AFCON is over. So guys, let me know your thoughts about this. Do you think it's some karma or let, let me know your thoughts about it because to me i think it happens in football it's, it's not in this matter of a big deal it happens to it, it happens in football he has made his decision and there's something called cause and effect so it, it is it is what it is it is what it is so guys moving away from that let's talk about some latest transfer update and this has to do with a Ghanaian winger who plays for Nordland. do you know west ham is interested in ibrahim osman 
Yes, the Wingham who plays for North Zealand. Not only West Ham, Dortmund are interested. Arsenal are interested. Inviting the whole of them are also interested in this player. Now, West Ham want to do a project around Ghanaian players. After bringing Mohamed Kudus to West Ham and, and seeing how well he has done, they want to include another talent who is from Ghana. And to Brian Bosman is on top of the list for West Ham. He currently plays for North Zealand. And we'll make sure to follow up on this and bring all the latest updates. Now, no further, you know, Action has been taken by West Ham, but they just made inquiries as to the condition they have to meet to sign Ibrahim Osman from North Zealand. So, guys, that is the latest transfer update concerning the Ghanaian winger. Now, moving away from that, today, 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 there are a lot of matches. Our neighbors, Nigeria, are playing today against the Pretoria game. And my prediction for that one is Nigeria to win. Yes, I want Nigeria to win. But if they don't win, we will come back here and come and do agenda. It is very important. Today also, Ghana plays against Cape Verde. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Do you think we can win the game or it will end in another draw? Because in the last 10 games we played under Coach Chris Hutton, Charlie, we hardly score goals. Even in the last 10 games, we hardly score goals in the first half. So looking at the game Ghana and Cape Verde are going to play, I think first half that will end in a 0-0 draw. To me, I think first half will end in a 0-0 draw. We only do well in the second half. So, guys, let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. And lastly, before I end today's video, GTV or DST? Yesterday, we all saw the Afghan start, the opening ceremony, only for GTV to disappoint. Because at the point, I was watching the, 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 the GTV. And I noticed the sound wasn't coming. It got to a, a, a point. It, it was, you know, scratches. Scratches no ever so it was as if they were they were they were streaming from another platform. It was so sad. But DSTV was shooting throughout. It was very smooth. The picture quality was good. So my question to you is that will you choose DTV or DSTV? Or where would you watch the Ghana versus Cape Red match? Would you watch it on DSTV or you watch it on GTV? That's my question to you. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Next video, we are going to talk about the build up towards Ghana versus Cape Verde Life on Sports Corner GH. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Channel, we go vibe.